Hello, here's part three of the Modeling Basics series. My name is Brian Rocks, and today we will be using the loop cut tools and the knife tools to model some uh, major details on the ship here. Uh, we'll just focus on this back section of the fuselage uh, for today. And to start, I want to uh, move this to a different layer so we're not... Uh, hindered by all this other junk here. So just hit M on the keyboard and then I'm going to pick layer 3 because I got the lights and the camera on layer 2. So I'll hit 3 on the keyboard to get to layer 3 and I'll bring this out so we have a little, little bit to look at here. And first off I want to um, create the, the some thickness along this whole whole bit <clears throat> so we'll create this thickness um, and then I'm going to uh, cut this uh, portion out here and let's start by deleting actually let's first let's turn off all of the background images for the moment um, you can just click the little eyeball to turn those off and let's uh, tab in edit mode uh, B to border select all of the bottom part there uh, go ahead and delete all those vertices and let's see go ahead and uh, alt click this uh, loop here alt right click will uh, select uh, the whole loop and we will go into top mode And hit E to extrude and S to scale it down. Get your thickness in. So let me go control one on this side. I'm gonna get a little back view. And I'll go a side view here. Okay, so and you can see when we scaled this, it scaled around the center point of the selection, so it scaled this up farther than we want it but to fix that all you need to do just hit the little magnet which is your snap tool and that allows you to snap to either vertex edge face uh, etc um, here I just want to select the <clears throat> snapping to the vertex I hit G to grab and you can grab that over and as soon as you put your cursor over a vertex it snaps right to it so I'll just snap it to this one left click and then go ahead and turn the snap tool off and we'll bring this in along the x-axis just so we have an even width here uh, and go ahead and shift right click this vertex so we can match the width all the way around alright that looks good okay deselect everything A on the keyboard and Let's go ahead and set up our loop cuts for the um, for this little uh, inset deal right here. So it's uh, Control R or the loop cut button there, and we we want two loop cuts um, for that seam. And to create more than one, you can do them individually, or just the scroll wheel on your mouse will allow you to select as many as you want. So just scroll it up so you have two loop cuts and then left click to set those and those are looks a little wide you know, more than I would want but if that's totally up to you um, but I can show you another function here of um, when you're when you're using the loop cuts uh, to adjust these and without um, you know, alt right click on this one without um, messing up the actual angle you have here you can just slide this along this face by uh, control E brings up the edge menu and is pick edge slide and that slides it along that edge so you can adjust it however you like I'm just gonna bring this in a little bit here and then alt right click that control E edge slide and bring that in okay that looks good now let's um, 
before we make that inset, let's uh, cut this portion out here. So I'm going to go three on the number pad, go in the side view, and we're going to use the uh, knife tool. So you can hit K on the keyboard or the knife button, and you can see the cursor turns to a little scalpel. And when you move over an edge or a point, it uh, automatically snaps to it. Uh, excuse me, snaps to it. And along the bottom is uh, all the controls uh, for uh, for the knife. Uh, we'll just use uh, the confirmation, the space bar to confirm the cut, uh, the angle constraint, and this cut through function here. Uh, first I'll do the cut with the cut through off. Now that will uh, just cut along this um, visible face here. It won't cut through here. So we just uh, go ahead and cl left click on this edge and hit C to constrain that uh, angle there. And just bring it past the edge where you want to cut and left click and then hit the space bar. And you can see it only cut along this front uh, forward facing uh, face here but we want to cut all the way through and that's where that cut through option will be handy so I'll go back into side view I'm going to control Z to remove that and knife tool again and I'm just going to go ahead and left click on that edge and C to constrain that angle I'm going to bring it past here and then hit Z to enable the enable this cut through function and then uh, left click and then spacebar and now you see it cut through all the way around uh, the front and the back there and we want to remove this whole bottom loop so just alt right click the bottom part and then delete these vertices okay that would be good and now I'd, I'm gonna um, create this thickness along the bottom but I'm not going to um, run the edge loops along that part so and we'll use the knife tool again for that I'm um, gonna get use this um, control one get the back view and then a K for your knife tool and I'm gonna put a cut across here so I'm gonna just select this edge it, it's arbitrary where you put it it's up to you um, C to constrain that angle and you want to leave the cut through off. So I'm going to go ahead and just left click and then space bar. So that just leaves us a, a cut right there. That's all I wanted. So I can remove uh, this geometry here. Um, I'm going to go into face select mode. Just hit face select. I'm going to remove uh, this face here. I just want to remove all of them. I want to remove all of these faces. Um, just shift and right click those faces, uh, delete faces. Oops, remove, redo that. Control Z. I'm going to point select here. It's going to remove these two points. And then I'm going to actually just um, to, clean, to keep this clean, you can actually select all of these um, and create a face but later on you'll end up uh, triangulating this so there's not more than four points along this whole uh, face the edges of this face so I'm going to control Z to undo that I'm going to actually just snap these points down and then create the face so we just enable the snap tool again and make sure it's on the vertex select selection sorry uh, hit G to grab and then bring it down to this point here come on work with me there we go and left click and do the same the right click G to grab and then bring it down here and let it snap to that point okay and now you can just uh, right click on actually we need to do um, since you see there's two two vertices here now we need to merge these together so uh, B to border select and select that 
and Alt M is going to bring up a merge menu. You also have the selection over here as well. You hit merge and then it allows you to um, select at first, at last, at center, and then these other options. Um, at first and at last, um, if you were to select, say you were to select, um, let's just do this, uh, select this vertice first and then shift select that and if you were to merge at first it will bring that vertice over control Z to undo that and conversely the at last will um, bring the first selected vertice to the last selected vertice um, control Z in this case um, these are at the same point so we can just merge those at the center so um, go ahead and B to border select that um, merge and at center and same with this border select that merge at center so now we just have the one vertice here and go ahead and shift select all of these and F to create a face so when we inset this um, we're not um, creating some weird geometry at the bottom that you'd have to do a bunch of jacking around with to, to, to get it to, to work for you so we want to create this thickness on the bottom all the way to the back go ahead and uh, select this vertice in the center on the back side we just still go ahead and delete that or actually we can leave it there because we we can use this edge as a snapping point because um, we'll just extrude this point to the back so go ahead and um, leave the snap on and select edge and then hit E to extrude and then grab this along the Y axis I'm gonna, oops, control Z to undo that I'm just going to G to grab Y Y axis and then we'll snap it to this edge here and it's snapped when you, you can kind of see it click into place there so when it's snapped to that edge just left click and now we can remove this vertice so delete that vertice now shift select all of these bottom four and then hit F to create a new face and so now we have that thickness along that bottom and now we can inset this portion here so I'm gonna actually turn off the snap tools I'm gonna select the uh, face selection here and select shift right click these two faces and then I'm going to E to extrude, and then I'm going to just grab it along the Y, y axis here and bring it in a little bit. So now we have uh, that detail there. And at this point, we can uh, duplicate this object and mirror it down uh, for the bottom portion because any more um, cutting and modeling on the top we don't want on the bottom because since the bottom portion is uh, different as we have the uh, landing this landing ramp we'll close this out and bring up a better view um, we have the landing ramp section here as opposed uh, to this inset section at the top so let's go ahead and um, go in the side view and go ahead and uh, shift D to duplicate that object then I'm going to mirror it down along the z-axis here and now we have that bottom portion there and we can actually I'm going to go ahead and apply this um, apply this mirror and hit tab to go in edit mode uh, z to get rid of that shading I'm going to go back into vertex select and then I'm going to be to border select all this top portion and go ahead and uh, delete all that uh, one to go in the front view select these vertices over here and delete those and then tab back into object mode and we can just reapply a uh, mirror modifier here I'm going to turn on clipping so and that's that'll be ready for whenever you model the bottom portion and now we have two separate sections there uh, this top bit, and let's do some loop cuts here. Looks like 
get the get a better view here. Um, we have to bring uh, this angle in here a little bit, so we'll do a loop cut here and then drag these corners corners in. It's going to limit a seven to go in the top view. Uh, Z to get rid of that shading. I'm going to activate this top view because I want the loop cut, you know, about about right here. So let's go ahead and tab in edit mode. And control R and go along this face and then bring it up about right there. Let's see. And bring that up about right there. And I actually want the I want to select these two vertices. Uh, shift select those two and I'm gonna bring those I'm gonna bring those straight up. So they're just about straight the vertical there. Okay, now we want to actually just bring this corner in a little bit. So I'm going to go back into top view. And B to border select all of this. And then we'll just bring that in on along the x-axis a little bit. Let's see. Okay, that looks pretty good. You have a little bevel there. I'm going to leave the bottom portion uh, straight because it seems so on, on here, but you know, it's totally up to you. And let's see, now let's do this uh, the inset on the top here, and that's about all we'll do because I'm just going over the loop cut and the knife tools. So let's do. Uh, you know, there's plenty of ways to do this. I'm going to do the loop cuts, um, see what we need. Get a top view here. So we see we need one, two, three, four, and five. So let's bring this back up. Control R, and get the loop cut going. <clears throat> and you can actually just scroll the mouse wheel until you have five cuts because we can adjust these as we need. So go ahead and set the five cuts here. Uh, Alt, right click on this one and we can just drag this down about right. So let's see. Yeah, that looks good there. Uh, Alt, right click this and bring that down. I'm going to Alt, right click that one. See how much It'll go about right there. Alt right click and bring that one up. Let's see. So you bring this one down and alt right click and bring that one up. Okay. Now let's go ahead and try to turn this clipping off here. Because if we try to move this point in it isn't going to work so let's turn that off and I'm actually going to move this one back to the, the first layer so M1 and then enter so now we can open up this top portion here uh, 7 will go into top view again okay I'm going to actually Shift select all of these, just these uh, these three. It looks like actually this one and this one. Bring those in. Missed one. Just shift select that, to add it to it, and we'll bring that open here. Okay. Whoops. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and shift select these two and bring these out. Now we want the, we don't want this angle here. We 
want it just a, a straight cut there. Let's see, I'm gonna. So we can go ahead and actually just snap this vertice back, back on the top. So let's go ahead and whoops, go ahead and alt right click on this. And we really can actually just snap this whole bit. Bring that back. Well, I don't want to. Actually, I do want the top part to be here, so. And we can actually close this off just by actually turning the clipping back on. Uh, hit E to extrude this point. And just. Whoops. Grab that along the x axis and just drag it across. And it's uh, going to stop right at the center line. And just shift select all these points and hit F to create a face. So now we have uh, that cutout part, and we can actually go ahead and shift select all of the top points here. And hit E to extrude, and then I'm just going to drag it down on the Z a little bit here. Let's see. And just drag it in a little bit. And seven going top view. And then we can actually extrude this. Or no, I don't want to extrude that. And we want to create the uh, the bottom portion here. And we can do that by you know creating a, a center line face and just bringing this in two let's see let's do this select these two vertices here e to extrude and then just drag that along the x-axis there same with this select these two e to extrude select that we can go ahead and oops select these two along the bottom there, E to extrude, and we'll drag that in. And now we can just shift select these F to create a face. Same here, select these bottom ones, F to create a face there. And then we have that uh, whole inset bit that you, know, you can start detailing. Um, I'm not going to do this uh, little raised bit yet. Um, we can just add that as a separate object but um, but for the most part that is your loop cut and uh, knife tool functions um, you can go ahead and you now play with those on the rest of the model here I'm gonna um, provide the starting model and then I'll provide also this uh, end point here as well uh, so you can so you can mess around with uh, uh, both uh, and play with those tools and um, then next time um, part four um, we'll be playing with like uh, the rip and the weld and then possibly the, the spin and the spin duplication um, modeling so um, thank you for watching and any comments and questions go ahead and leave them thank you